When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? This is what the wedding should be. No, yeah. not at all. I exactly. don't want my wedding to be this. Our wedding's not a show. There is no way that I would wear this. How long has it been that you've been without work? <laughs> Are you seriously looking that hard? You need money today. You need money last week. You're embarrassing me here. I have hardly gotten anything of my own and into this wedding. And this is exactly why, because it's all ugly. Weddings are a bride beautiful in white. Weddings are a groom and his sacrificial right. Weddings can leave you financially tight. Meet newlyweds Jay and Jake, creating their fantasy wedding and slaying a few financial dragons. Let's follow along and see if this fairy tale wedding made their savings go poof. My name is Jay and I'm 24 years old. I work at a veterinary clinic. I met Jake when we were both 14 years old and attended the same school. Even though we have dramatically different personalities, we fell in love. This is the story of how our wedding day visions collided all the way to the altar. The wedding day was great. Everything turned out perfect, I think. Yeah, it was pretty crazy for me. I, I think it went by the whole entire 18 hours or whatever it was. It felt like 18 seconds. It, it went by fast. very quickly. Yeah. Their wedding may have gone by fast, but getting there took more than a few quick fixes. Let's turn back the clock and see if this couple can stick to their budget and to each other. For the wedding planner, I expected Angelique to take care of all those little things, all the things that you don't really think about with all the craziness of planning a wedding that she'll be there and make sure that things are done, eh? And your Angelique Sobchak. Her 12 years of experience as a wedding planner may make her the fairy godmother of weddings, but can she grant this couple their wishes without landing them over budget? My role as a wedding planner is to really take everybody's ideas and make it into one wedding that everybody likes. And ultimately, that's a big challenge. So what I always love to hear from my couples is how you see your wedding day playing out. Something simple, uh, black, white, traditional, um, nothing too elaborate or crazy. Um, so the feel, is it casual? Is it high-end, formal? Like formal, I guess, right. yeah. How about you, Jake, what do you know. like? I I'm thinking that I'm totally opposite. I'm going like elaborate and crazy. Hmm. I want to kick it up a notch, have something, something unique. Okay. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking maybe um, throwing in a little medieval type medieval. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. having some goblets, maybe a, maybe a no. joust or a sword fight on the dance floor. <laughs> Call it a battle pit or something. Nothing and, like that oh, at yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs> really what might help yeah. is overall with your vision and, and your vision, Who's, who, I mean, who's contributing for the wedding financially? Me, exactly. So. No, no, no. Our, well, parents, no. our parents are paying for yeah, but, the reception, okay. right? Okay, so, so parents are involved, the cost right? Of yeah. The food and the alcohol. Okay, so parents are involved yeah. and you're involved and, and. But everything else is us and yeah. basically me because he's not working, so I think I have more oh, of a say really? in everything. Yeah, I've been back in the country for like hardly at all. Long enough to get so a I job. Been, not long enough to get a job. There's nothing out there that. That suits me. Any I, job is better than no job, especially because so you have a have wedding coming these, up. But that's the thing is you have all these expectations and ideas yeah. for your wedding that you can't contribute financially. Exactly. Well, so I you can't totally have contribute them. financially. How are you gonna I contribute just use financially? The gold. We're not going into debt for the gold. What gold? Gold card. Oh, a credit card. Oh, a credit yeah. card. We're not. All he's using. You, can I just say that you cannot start your marriage, your wedding, by being in, in debt. Exactly. I understand regardless. that. I mean, so that, why are we going to get these stupid medieval things? Because well, I'll be able to pay it off after the wedding. Okay. Why do we want to pay it off after nothing. the wedding? My biggest source of stress is the fact that Jake's not working and not contributing. Um, other than that, if he was working, I think we'd be in a much better situation. But right now, he's my biggest stress. Do you see a location for your reception? Do you have something like that booked? No, not yet. Not no. yet. So we need to find a location for the reception. Right. How about ceremony? Will it be a religious ceremony, an outdoor ceremony? At the church, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, it'll church. be a church ceremony. Yeah. What about cake? Um, cake. Something mm -hmm. simple, no. small. I'm thinking something like tall and huge. Oh my we gosh. don't need small <laughs> tall. Yay. Let's go medium. <laughs> I mean, bigger. are you doing it for dessert or is it going to be something that's served for late night? 
Probably for the late night. Like, What's your guess like something number? Something we can cut costs on. Well, we've got like a bit over 200, 200. I'm thinking. So your yeah. guess numbers are around 200. So you only need a cake to feed about 100 people. Exactly. Do you have an overall idea about any sort of decor? I'm thinking like maybe having some scrolls on the walls for, for table seating so that everyone can no, just we're not walk up scroll. and okay. check out your name on the it scroll. It doesn't go with anything. We've already go. sent out the invitations. They're nothing to do with medieval Yeah, I know, and I didn't even have to say it on invitation. I'd have like well, a Well, you didn't pay for the invitations. Jay as a bride, I think that she's very particular. She wants things her own way. She doesn't really like any input from myself, whereas me as a groom, I think that I'm extremely creative. I'm also flexible, so I'm down with things that she's thrown out there. I just think that I have to be able to get my input as well. How about outfits? What do you see yourselves wearing? Just something simple, classic, right. white, strapless. So you're really looking for a traditional wedding gown? Yeah. Girls? Um, I don't know, maybe black. I like that. Oh. How about you? What do you see yourself wearing? I want something styling, like old armor with like some huge swords no. and stuff. It's yeah. a wedding, Jake. Well, no, but no. like you enter in armor. Well, first of all, armor is How do you think people did it expensive. in the 15th century? No, expensive. It's, see, there you go. It's out. Oh, you can't have it. We'll just rent it. I'm, I'm trying to help you out here, and I, I have to say, I love your enthusiasm. I love your ideas. It's great for me. But I need to realistically understand your wedding. We definitely have some compromising to do. But what I need to know to really make your wedding what you both want, I need your budget. Mm. Yeah. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Your parents, they're covering the reception? Yes. <laughs> Coming up. This is what the wedding should be. No, yeah. not at all. I was nervous and hoping I, I wouldn't trip. Um, Grace has never been my middle name, <laughs> so I was petrified that I'd do something stupid like trip. When it comes to planning a wedding, you really have your work cut out for you. Who's contributing for the wedding financially? Me, because he's not working. There's nothing out there that uh, suits me. Any right? job is better than no job, especially because so we have a wedding home. coming up. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if this couple could find the funds to pay for their big day. Dress shopping was pretty difficult. Trying to stay within a low budget was pretty hard. Which one's the bride? Her. This young lady here. <laughs> Did you have a style in mind or um, a price in mind? Something strapless. Um, strapless? That's maybe in the three to $500 range. Okay. We can work with that. <laughs> if you have anything. <laughs> yeah, she just started on a budget. So, yeah. This rack over here okay. is the 50% off. <gasps> and there's actually a rack that's $99. Okay. Oh, that was perfect. I don't really like that. No. no. Here, this one's plain, Jay. You like plain? Let's see what the back looks like. Meh. 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 It's okay. Not really. Okay, well, get excited about it. Like, you're well, not really <laughs> seeing anything I like. Well, I don't excited. look like okay. you like anything. Well, I don't yeah. really like anything. Jay, what? Wait, okay, so you have pink, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, do you have anything with pink in it? Definitely. Maybe something with, like, yeah. a pink accent or something we can kind of sure. throw at her. There's ones like this where there's the oh, pink belt. Nice. Um, little pink beads inside. Oh, How much is this one? Oh, way too long. Nice. <laughs> Jay, you might as well try them on and we'll see. Yeah. If she wears it with the plastic on, can she return it after the wedding? Okay. Everybody, yes. Ready? Here's the bride. Oh, that's, that's pretty. pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, well, that's but sorry. I don't know. She doesn't seem too excited. How much was it again? 950. Yeah, I don't think it's worth. No, 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 you're not happy with it. So I don't really like it that much. All right, so. we'll try on the right. other one. Next one, let's go. <gasps> See, that oh, one's man. pretty. That is beautiful. Uh, you like funny. it, Jay? No, I really like, like it. it. Well, how much is it? Seven. Seven. But that one's pretty. I know. It's a little bit too much. <laughs> Jay, no, Jay, but you have to have that one. Is this is the nicest one that I. I don't know that I've seen that I like, but it's not up to me, it's up to you. Yeah, no, I do really like it, it's just not really in the budget. Is mum crying over the dress or the price? Okay, so just get it? Oh, you have to, you uh, have to, yeah. that's amazing. Who cares about the price? <laughs> don't well, tell Jake. Really <laughs> My little sister's getting married. Okay. <laughs> You're such a See? loser. <laughs> I think it was definitely worth uh, going over on the dress. It was the one thing I was willing to compromise on. And after all, it's my money that I was spending, so I deserve it. I deserved it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>
When we went tux shopping, I wanted something that would like kapow people in the face. Something maybe on the lines of like a neon orange tux yes, with a top hat. That's exactly why we came along with you to make sure you didn't get anything like that. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> we have your tuxedos picked out. Pink with black. Pink. Pink. Yeah, I don't know about pink. With the girls in black and the and the girls carrying pink bouquets, the guys can have the black with the pink vest and tie. You gotta be kidding me. I don't really want to pay 150 to wear a pink vest and look like an Easter bunny. Yeah. Oh my like, god. If I gotta pay 150 okay, bucks, well, I don't want to look like a flamingo all that's night. That's fine. There we okay. go. You guys can wear black. Jake can wear pink. No, no, no. The verdict is in. The jury has spoken. Everyone? Okay, and they don't no have to pink. wear pink. Including me. They don't have to wear pink, but you can wear pink. Jay has a good point. Because you guys are paying for your own taxes, how about black on black with a white shirt? Yes. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. You can wear pink, they can wear black. It's a compromise. No, that's lame. You're not working. That's I'll be paying for This has working. nothing to do with working. All right, the only way that I'm going to wear that pink vest, or sorry, let's call it a salmon vest. Hmm, something's fishy here. I would need to have a big honking broadsword on my no, side. Geez. I'm whipping the sword and then I'm like, it's no way. <laughs> Why don't you it just try it on? Just see what it looks like. Okay, I'll humor you and, and it'll look bad, okay? It's gonna look bad. I don't think this is quite how Jake pictured his outfit. Look, that's Jake. what a pink vest does to you. Jake. I can't wear it. Just I, put it on. There you go. There's Cute. no way that I would wear this piece. And this I don't is... know, Jake. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should get you in a pink bunny rabbit suit and hop along. What if you got rid of the pink vest and did a black vest instead? OK, you know what? I'll compromise on the salmon color tie. It's pink. Salmon. It's baby pink. OK, it's I'm not, not going to wear it if you, you know call what? it baby okay, pink. OK, whatever. Okay. Continue. You. So You'll compromise, so that's good. I will good. wear the salmon color okay. tie if I also myself get a compromise down the road Fine, with whatever. this wedding planning okay. process. Is it a deal? As long as it's not affecting the budget, it's not going to cost us any more. <laughs> whatever your idea may be, this next thing that you're going to come up with, then that's fine. Oh, you it's, can have it's not going to affect the, the budget. One. Don't worry about fine. that. Good. Right. I will be on your side for one. It was a little frustrating being forced into wearing that monkey suit. <laughs> Looked good. Everybody <laughs> agreed. It matched. It went with the whole thing. Yes. It was great. Yes, I looked beautiful, <laughs> didn't I? Yes, you did. I thought that taking Jay to a medieval show would set the table quite nicely. You know, just to give Jay a taste of what our wedding should be what like. It should not be like. What it should be like. Everything that I have to prevent you from bringing to the wedding. This is what the wedding should be. No, yeah. not at all. You could just put different family members in each section. No, Jay. Like if you we're not doing it oh, here. Totally. That's like, totally out of the question. Like... The show is great. It's great to come and watch, but yeah, I don't exactly. want my wedding to be this, Jake. Our wedding's not a show. Not on your budget, it isn't. No, it is. we already have an idea of a place, and it's nothing like this. We're not Maybe. doing a medieval themed well, then wedding. If the place is nothing like this, we'll just change it to be like this. No. Come on. I want like I want a throne. I want to be a kid. Sit on the toilet. You You're not queen. happy. <laughs> Jake, it's time to flush that idea. If I was paying for the whole entire wedding myself, we definitely would have had a medieval scene. We definitely would not have. We if you would have wanted would've. to marry me, I we wouldn't have had that. I would have just flipped out the box and been like, all right. Oh, you would have bought another bride? Because you wouldn't have had good. me there. <laughs> pick the most beautiful room we have here, the Starlight Room. And our wedding packages are anywhere from 80 to $120. 80 to 100 So what would the 80 entail? Well, very basic. Just, you know, chicken, roasted chicken, potatoes. Is that a bar included? Uh, yes. Will that include any sort of cocktail hors d'oeuvres or yes, anything? Yes, it does. It, it, it does. It's complimentary. The complimentary hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> complimentary must mean something else in French. You're paying for it. <laughs> yeah. The 120, what would that one be? Oh, that would go more into seafood, seafood platter <laughs> and steak. Well, if you go with an $80 meal, your meal per person is $104 all in. Wow, that's per yeah. person? Per person. <laughs> and if we're at the 200 person mark, you're looking at $20,000 right there. Wow, that went quickly. Wow. That's the bottom end. That's the bottom that's end. The bottom end. We're talking 10,000 a piece. <laughs> yeah. So that's agreed, <laughs> right? Give, give or take yeah. <laughs> All right. I know it's a lot. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys for contributing, since Jake isn't really contributing much. Yeah. So you're going to do the food and the alcohol. That's, that's it. it. That's so it. anything extra is covered by the bride and the groom. Right. Yep. Or the bride. 
Yeah. <laughs> More likely me than the groom. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and you should be rightfully so. <laughs> oh hey guys, so I'm late. About time you got here. Had to pick up that little beauty. What the hell is that? What do you mean, what is it? This is our decor. This is our night of the round table. Yeah. What are we using that for? Well, this is our centerpiece. No, it's no. not. Yeah, it costs really? 20 bucks. That's awful. I'm a little confused as to where you're seeing this. Well, like, I'm thinking if, if I'm not going to get my venue, then we should at least have a compromise. I'll settle for this venue. But then I'll bring, go with I'll bring, yeah. Beautiful. I'll bring my theme to the venue. Are you gonna pay for it? I'll put it on the goal. Oh my oh, God! That card again. <laughs> You're so. <laughs> we could put a candle inside. We're, we're not putting that on the table. Our parents are paying for a nice place, and we're not putting that. Man. Realistically, yeah. I, I think this is not happening. Am I agreed by parents oh, and yeah, everything? Cool. Okay, That's I'm gonna you. put this away. Exactly. I'm sorry. Exactly. Thank you. Sorry, there you go. I think you have a feeling that you're not getting a little bit of what you want for this wedding. Exactly. And I and I and I agree that <laughs> yes, you are paying for it. You, you have majority you're of the say. Ah, uh, there you go. Exactly. That's all you get. <laughs> Maybe we can find another <laughs> less obvious way of getting something like that's a smaller. A, well, helmet? maybe not even something not like a that. Helmet. Maybe How we'll, about? Maybe we'll do something <laughs> yeah. different. Like I don't want some traditional everyday okay. wedding. We need something that's out there, something that people have but fun at. And it has to be something you like, yes, but something that everybody agrees on. Well, we do have something that you may like. It's a whole roasted pig. No, we're not having a pig roast at our wedding. Uh, how much would the roasted pig be <laughs> additional? I would say 150. And not to be mean, but does it come with a head on it? It does. There's an apple in the mouth. That's Please. awful. How about the bride and groom cut the cake with a sword? Hey. Oh. Well, that no. I might. Go. I can settle for that. <laughs> as long as she. That might look a little cool. I, I have seen that done. Not really, but. Would you maybe go for yeah. something like that? Compromise. How about that? You can cut your wedding can, cake with I a sword. I can go for that. We probably should have done it out in a field with battle axes. Yeah, we probably should have, right? That would have been a lot better. Mm -hmm. It would have. Forget it, Jake. It's done. Coming up. Get ready Free. to feast your eyes on the battling knights. <laughs> my Evening. eldest brother. He pulled me aside and told me, you know, that's my favorite sister. You take care of her. I'd want her to be coming back to me crying or else. <laughs> There's going to be some damage. <laughs> There's some bones broken here. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to planning your wedding, the decision making should be a two way street. I will compromise with you. Fine. If. I also, myself, get a compromise down the road Fine, with whatever. this wedding planning okay. process. And later on, we'll find out if paying for these compromises felt like highway robbery. So my mom thought that it was necessary to help me find a job. It was just a mess. You gotta be kidding me. You circled jobs? I'm looking for jobs myself. I don't need you to, like, dog groomer. How long has it been that you've been without work? <laughs> Are you seriously looking that hard? Did I go to school for four years to be a dog groomer? You need money. No. You have to help pay for the wedding. You can't expect us to pay for everything. You can't expect Jay's parents to pay for anything. And you can't expect Jay to pay for everything. Man, these jobs are all lame-o. Like, Oh. Okay, you can't have your fiance buying her own wedding bands for Pete's sakes. I'll just you can't put it on the credit us. card. You I'll pay it off everything. later. Oh my God, you can't put everything on the credit card. It doesn't matter. I'm not wasting my time matter. with a job that I don't want to do. You can't wait until the perfect job comes. You need money today. You need money last week. My skills and talents are not going to some little high schooler job. I'm not doing these things. Working like... hard is never a waste. You're getting married, so you have to make some sacrifices. I'll go home, I'll get on the web, and I'll find something that suits me. Like, what, why are you pulling in here? Because... I don't need a coffee, I'm fine. I know you don't need a coffee. You're gonna go in here, and you're going to ask for an application. You gotta be kidding me. A What's coffee shop. What, you're too good for there it? There is no way. Everyone that works in there is like 14 years old. I'm locking the door. No, oh, like seatbelt's on. Open. I'm no, not no, going. No, no, no. How else are you going to pay for that suit of armor? I don't not leaving here. I'm We're not, not going here. home until you get out. You go get an application. Just think of it as another dragon to slay. So we didn't end up finding a job that day. But I did, you know, I went out on my own. I found something. And you know what? I supervise, baby. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> I've had quite a bit of amazing ideas for the wedding, yes, you but the, the half man, half horse nights, that had to take the cake. That had to be the, the worst idea ever. <laughs> All right, guys, now keep an open mind. 
Get ready right. to feast your eyes and peep on the battling knights. <laughs> We're not doing that. Oh, Jeez. God. Jeez. Look at this. Those aren't even oh real God. horses. It's tacky. People think that these are real horses. Jake. And look at them back. You can tell it's not a real this horse. Is wicked. You cannot Jake, tell. Jake, it's at awful. That. How <laughs> tall are you in there? Six foot. May I look up yep. your skirt? Yes, you may. <laughs> Angelique always manages to get to the bottom of things. This is wicked. No, it's not. We Jake. have to do it. I already Jake. put down a deposit. What? We're not doing this it. This is the compromise. This like, is I'm not wearing, the compromise. I'm wearing a roll up on my neck. Like, how much is it? I already threw down 200, and it's an additional 200. I mean, has anyone ever asked you to do a wedding before? No. How long of a service would you provide? A couple hours. So let's say we have something like this where they're out in the parking lot, My, not in no. a wedding, not That's in awful. the wedding. Oh yeah. So that when guests are pulling in with their cars, they're going to be out out That's there. That's tacky. Yeah. It, no. Realistically, it is going to add that something for him. We're not having them. No. Can you guys just give me like one second? Half your party will be in What are you okay. doing? You're embarrassing me here. Like You're, this is my I'm one compromise. You. I have hardly gotten anything of my own and into this wedding. And this is wedding. exactly why, because it's all ugly. No, like man, Jake. just work with me here. No, huh? it's not a circus or a variety show. Yes. It's a wedding. Oh, End of man. story. I'm not having. I know a, it's a wedding. a wedding, and it's going to be a unique wedding no. that people are going to Jake. dig. Like, Jake. what am I going to happen for my say of the wedding? You can have yourself like, there, and that's I it. Can... I guess you get what you pay for, Jake. Just forget it's it. Let's stop talking about it. Your craftsmanship is absolutely outstanding. I know you don't like mm -mm. it. I know Jake likes it. But why don't we talk about it? I don't want to waste these guys' times. You guys have done an outstanding job, and I'd like to say thank you for at least offering your services. And uh, we'll be in touch. <laughs> I'm shake your hand. <laughs> nice horsey. <Sweet. laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> So for transportation, I wanted that one to be on me. Hook something sweet up. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried about what you'd come up with. Man, these cars are mint, guys. Thanks a lot for hooking this up. Yeah, no problem. So we got a really special car here for you, which is our London cab, straight from uh, the streets of London. Man, this thing's pretty wild. That's why I'm looking for something unique, so this thing would definitely well, fit the bill. This will definitely turn some heads for you if you're cool, driving that's what I want, it. man. Definitely. Do you want yeah, to so show you inside? Yeah, for sure. Man, there you go. They're, they're a little bit deceiving from the outside. Yeah. But you actually Yeah, man, have, there's like huge space in here. You got tons of I space. I could fit like 20 people in this thing. Almost, <laughs> yeah, almost. Maybe you could pick up some fares on the way to the wedding. When you rent the car, you get uh, not only the vehicle, but yeah. we provide a driver. Will he have an uh, English accent, though? Well, that... we'll, we'll work on that. Work on Just to give it that, you know? What we do normally, uh, as far as these cars go, they go out for 100 an hour. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna give it to you for three hours. Cool. We're gonna charge you for two. Oh, that's awesome. And so 200 bucks, we get a driver, some champagne, and a sweet ride around town. Yeah, well, why don't we fire it up? We'll Let's take do it up. So don't yeah. let it freak you out that I'm sitting on the wrong side. <laughs> You're in good hands, don't well worry. Trained. <laughs> nice. I thought the London cab was totally awesome. Everyone uh, that we drove by turned their heads and they're like, whoa, what's going on in there? <laughs> Us, that's what's going on in there. Coming up. Get ready to feast your eyes on the groom's cake. Oh! <laughs> Our wedding day was crap. I had no fixed address, no money, no honeymoon, and I didn't really want to get married. I did it to pacify my parents and Eddie's parents, so that was my wedding day. When it comes to working together to plan a wedding, Sometimes mother knows best. How long has it been that you've been without work? <laughs> Are you seriously looking that hard? You need money today. You need money last week. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if Jake found the funds he needed or if he enjoyed a free ride. What I really want to hear from you guys today is overall, your, where do you stand in your planning? How's the budget? And how do you guys feel? I'm feeling good. I got some extra fundage, um, working oh. as a supervisor for a bunch of attractions. Good. Finally. Excellent. Yay, yeah. yeah, finally. I feel good about that. Good. <laughs> and who's going to supervise how you spend that money? So, now some of the ideas you have, right? That's exactly oh, it. They're going to come to fruition. About the ideas, and she's going to love it. <laughs> oh, really? I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> but overall, I know financially, I don't think we're in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, we have that. a little bit of money to play with, but I need to know how much, roughly. Sure. Cake? How's that? We're done, yeah. Oh, Got you did get organized. the cake? Yep. 
What? Oh, really? You got the cake? Yeah, I told you I got I mean, the cake. No, you didn't tell me. Like, listen. You did not tell yes, me. I did. My ears are all open. Like, <gasps> what did you this get? This isn't just something. Just a simple couple tears. A simple okay. couple tears. Yeah. No, you know it's what? I've actually cake. decided that we need two cakes. We need a groom's and a bride's cake. So is that okay. coming out of the budget? Like, I need to know how much you well, spent like, on the cake. How much okay. is cake mix? How much uh, was nothing. that? 250 Okay, so that's not bad. That's okay, we yeah. can handle that. I have seen the groom's cakes done before, and that's fine. It is money, a bit of yeah, a waste. Maybe we could put that money towards something else. Exactly. I'm just being like... It's gonna cost like 20 bucks. Okay, Don't so worry, we I'll take care it of it. Somewhere else. Done. You're not you know having what? a Even cake. still, worst case, if he does, how about late night? It just comes out for late night. This way, you're drunk. Nobody down. sees it. Well, half your, dress, <laughs> half your guests are drunk, it. and who cares? Yes. Right? Okay, cool. but we'll look at that. All right, how's the outfits? Dress done. Good, done. Yeah. And did we come in budget? Yeah, I think so. We may have went a little bit over, but... On your dress? <laughs> yes. Your dress? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. You threw down a couple extra coins over budget? Yes, I did. I think oh. I should be able to. Very it's the one thing that I went a little bit over on. Well, I'll have to uh, store that in the memory bank for later down the line. Well, memories are the only thing you've got in the bank, Jake. Transportation. How are mm -hmm. we on that? Because that is something that we were kind yeah. of back and forth on, so... Mm -hmm. Transportation? Good. Complete. <laughs> what is it, and how much? How are you paying for it? No, I've I have got a very sweet ride for us. It's a surprise. My connection hooked me up huge. But how expensive is exactly. it? I need to put okay. it in the budget. Okay, two bills. Two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Okay, but what party. is it? Just tell me what it is. It's a surprise. Just don't worry. Is it a limo? It has wheels. It has wheels. It has a steering wheel. Does it come with a driver? It does come with okay. a driver. Budget-wise, you guys are holding all right. You know, oh, I'm feeling confident as long as you don't screw it up. Anything else that I can be doing for you at this point? How about hanging on to Jake's gold card? Mm, I don't think so. I do have I a big pile of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so. not doing your laundry. The cake was probably one of the last straws uh, of Jake's ideas. I couldn't believe it when I seen it, uh, to think he actually would want that out on our wedding day. And to think that it looked so realistic and awesome. <laughs> what the hell? Look at this. What is that for? Isn't this thing sick? No. Yeah, it is sick. What's what do you it for? think what is it is? For? This is the groom's cake. We have a wedding Done cake. Deal. We don't need that. This is part of the wedding cake. This no, is my No, that's half not of the a wedding cake. cake. It is. Jake, come Jake. on. But look at it. It's awesome. I know a friend who you know has some artistic qualities, and look at what she popped off. This thing that is, is not awesome. awesome. It was like I don't know, a couple dollars. We're not having that. This cake. is for the wedding we at the wedding to. reception. No way. This is the groom's Jake, cake. It is oh, yeah. not. We're not it putting is. this out on a table okay, at the wedding. No we have have to. Groom's cake. What do you mean we have to? I got the cake and I got the sword, so I cut the what sword. Whoa, whoa. What? what do you mean, what sword? We already what agreed on this. We didn't agree on a sword. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. I already bought the sword. I already got the cake. Well, you shouldn't have bought the sword and you shouldn't have bought the cake before what do you mean running I it by. Here, let me show you. What did you spend on all this stuff? Look at this bad boy. The shards Jake. of Narsal no. forged to cut Jake. little Mr. Piggy. Jake, no, we're, we're not doing, doing that. that. Can you say no to a man with a sword? That's what are you awful. talking about? That's tacky. We're not doing this that. This is not tacky. I got it engraved. Look, Jay and Jake. You said that I could buy whatever I wanted with my own cash. So After you contribute I got us a sword to the and wedding. a cake for the wedding with and my what own hard-earned cash. On the gold? How much was well, it? Well, the sword was a couple bucks. The cake no, was a couple No, no, no. That was a couple bucks. dollars. The, the engraving alone was more than a couple bucks, Jake. Okay, well, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Like, who cares? It doesn't matter. I paid for it. A couple hundred? Jake, it doesn't yeah. matter. You could have contributed to other stuff for the wedding instead of I have, buying I a cake. This is contributing to the wedding. I don't want that at the wedding. So this is all a joke, right? You're just doing yeah. this. This is not a joke. On. How do you think that this is a joke? The sword is already engraved, and the pig is already made. This is no joke. It's a it's done deal. Done. It's not it's done. A done deal. The pig stays, sword stays. You Enjoy can have the, the swine. Sword. See you ladies. No. It's not, not going to make pig. it to the table. Hello, everybody. I feel like we're in school. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is actually bring everyone up and I'm going to put you in your finishing position. I, know. I thought Jake. I'd dress up for the occasion. Okay, groom, Mr. Sir. Yes. Can I get you to turn yeah. and face the back, please? If I can get the bride, please, right here. Me? You're paying for it. You may as well participate. Angelique was great uh, organizing the rehearsal. She, cool. I think she sped it up and went through it fast. Yeah, we were in and out of there in no time. 
The rehearsal went off without a hitch, but it was piggybacked by an unexpected guest. Get ready to feast your eyes on the groom's cake. This is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way that's a real cake. This is, that is unreal. <laughs> this piggy is going to squeal. Or maybe your guests will when they see it. Is that a real cake, dude? There's no way that's real. It is. No, it's not. How much did that cost? Yeah. A couple of dollars. Got a, uh, I got a surprise for you. I need yeah, you to see me. Yeah, I'm here. I gotta get this thing to the reception. Did you see it? Yes. It's awful. You, lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> see? <laughs> see, your dad, I, I knew your dad would like it. But it's, it's a dirty pig. <laughs> What kind of flavor cake is it? Uh, it's a um, <laughs> strawberry, like a vanilla cake. strawberry. I don't, so I'm when you exactly cut into it, it's what color? I need well, it has some. Uh, right it has some red jelly in the neck. Oh God! We need to have some spectacle. So here. you're telling so me you're ready? You're gonna it. hack into a pig cake and it's exactly. gonna bleed all over your guest table? That is exactly what's gonna happen. That's Jake? entertainment. Okay. You know what? I'm I, over it. Are you over it? Okay. Get your best man or get some guys. Can you guys grab the? pig in the back of the truck and <laughs> load it up in my truck and... I bet Angelique never thought she'd be saying that. Do you want me to put it out? I don't know. Do you want it out of the sweet table? I don't, I don't Do know. Do you really think at that point your guests are going to be really so think drunk? they'll care. That's what I'm saying. Do you think? No, I don't think they'll care. They'll laugh, right? You know what, if we're going to bring it out late, like at 11 o'clock, yeah. everyone's going to be half in the bag anyway, yeah. so let's not care about it. And yeah. if anything, he can have his fun. Yeah. He can have his fun and eat his cake too. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, God, no. I take it Jake didn't call you. I'm the queen of thrift. She's, oh yeah, yeah. She's thrifty and... Um... Not stingy, thrifty. There's a difference. When discussing the plans for your wedding, you may find yourself crossing swords with your partner. You said that I could buy whatever I wanted with my own cash. So After you I got us a sword to the and wedding. a cake for the wedding. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if this couple drew swords when it came to their spending. The morning at the hairdresser was, it was fun, having all the girls there and uh, having some drinks and some fruit and chatting. And I was a bit stressed and nervous, but it was mostly fun. It was nice to be there with the girls. Why were you stressed and nervous? I don't know. I didn't know if I was making a big mistake or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. My morning of the wedding, I don't know, it was kind of weird. I think I overslept my alarm, woke up, uh, and then, I don't know, I took a shower and threw on my tux. That was, that that was, was about it. Howdy. Hey, you. Where's the pink tie? Oh, I, uh, I washed it and it shrunk by accident. <laughs> okay. So, I've got flowers here. Cool. So will you please remember to put a pink flower on? I will. Will you please make sure he I will try to... Uh, and I do you, have a black marker. I'll get his pink flower on. All right, I need your overnight bag. Yep. I've got the extra flowers. We're good to go. Jake's day may have been easy, but there were a few loopholes. Can I ask you, how old is Colton? He is 14. Is he allowed to sign as a witness? No. He isn't? He has to be 16 or older to sign a marriage license. What I'm going to suggest <laughs> is let's have one of the... the ushers, one of the ushers actually okay. sign. And then Colton, all we'll do is when you go up to sign, you just fake sign. Because, yeah, if he's under 16, he can't be a legal okay. witness. You would not be legally married. Hey, a loophole. <laughs> That's a loophole. <laughs> no loopholes. So just in case something happens, then I'm like, ah, sorry, I didn't have a 16-year-old sign. <laughs> you have a whole I'm line joking, full of men. I'm joking, but yeah. that's good. So what we'll do is you'll still do everything like you do. You just fake it because it'll already be pre-signed. Yeah. Alrighty. Anything okay. else? Don't forget your pink tie and your pink flower. Oh, I will forget. Okay, Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What we did? We faked it. Pretended that he signed it. I had my dad <laughs> sign it beforehand, and uh, yeah, we just pretended like he was I really signing really it. I didn't know until after. <laughs> I didn't think about it. With that fire put out, Angelique had to face a horse of a different color. Oh, God, no. I take it Jake didn't call you. No, no one called us. All right, because this was canceled. Really? Yeah, I'm so sorry. You're kidding me. No, the groom um, was supposed to call and cancel because the bride just doesn't want this. If the bride sees you guys here, uh, she's going to have a bird. I apologize. 
for him, on behalf of him. Um, I don't have a payment to even give you, so, because I didn't even know about this. I'm totally, totally in your ballpark. I understand that, you know, obviously he's going to have to pay the balance, so I will make sure. Well, absolutely. So what I can suggest is either you will need to follow up with Jake himself personally to get full payment, and I will make sure that that happens. I'm really sorry, guys. I guess we're out of here. I guess so. <laughs> I will keep you in mind for some other events. I mean, I do do other events where this might be, you know, something they want. Sure, no problem. Talk to you later. Have a good day. With the night sent out to pasture, it looked like Jake's groomsmen were too. Yo, where are you? You're not at my place, because I'm at my place right now. <laughs> no, man, not Wayne Fleet. The place here. Fawn Hill. <laughs> Rob. Wrong house. <laughs> okay. Rob at the wrong house. All right, man. Yeah, get here as quick as possible, because by the time we get here, we'll probably have to leave. Mom. All right. See ya. <laughs> He's sitting at the house in Wayne Fleet. With time ticking, Jake had one promise he couldn't break. Oh, boy. This is a lame pink tie. Don't I don't even know. Ties, I don't even know how to put this the, thing on. To the church. I put it on the... Uh, I need plenty of ideas. Antenna of the Lexus so they know we're coming. Hey, that'd be sweet. Or I could just like, like wear flag. it on my head, like... Yeah. Look like Rambo or something. Uh, uh, how does that look? Pretty good. I'll trade sweet. You hey, I'll trade. Okay. Let's yeah. do it. You got 50 bucks? <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. 50 bucks? Yeah. 50 bucks? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go 40. <laughs> it sounds like Jake was trying to make a few extra bucks on his wedding day. Jake, how are you feeling today? Come on. Yeah, uh, I'm feeling. Feeling like a guy. Like a guy who's wearing a pink tie. <laughs> a manly man. Not, yeah, very manly Big today. Big manly man. If I only had my sword on me, then I wouldn't feel too lame. <laughs> But at least I got these sweet puppies. Yeah, the other sheets. Ching! What do you think about these? It goes really well with the pink tie. That's what I thought. Jake and the boys were ready to go, but our bride was running a little late. I think we were cutting it pretty close, getting ready at my sister's house. I'm gonna put this in that board. Want to be in your dresses? Well, that, that's it makes fine. Okay, thanks. Can you just hold it, Dad, for a little while? You're going to make me see and get Jay Titus one? No, I'm not. Know, it takes us 45 one? minutes to get to the first Hold on, hold on. Someone's getting nervous. Oh, it's okay. It's your hack, dude. It's hard to bend down. Breathe in this corset, like, top here. No, I'm looking to see where the holes are, Dad. Maybe Casey should do it. There's two to tighten. That's so pretty. OK, let's go. It seems Jake's surprise with the London cab didn't surprise his bride after all. She didn't even notice. Where am I going? Oh. Are we going in the cab? Oh. Oh. Just watch your head get in this. Can, can you hold this for a second? the cab. Jake did. It's kind of different. Oh. Is your steering wheel on the other side of the vehicle? <laughs> is it? Yes, it's it is. It's hot in this thing. It's cool. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to sit here. Oh, he even has an accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> oh, oh, my. What? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Uh-oh. Maybe Jake didn't pay for the taxi. Could we have some air in here so the bride doesn't pass out? Sorry. Well, <laughs> first of all, there's no air conditioning. Okay. No, so more. I'm going to have windows. Yeah, and if it gets too windy and, and side side starts though, messing though. up your hair, okay. you just have to slide up. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. So it's no air conditioning? No, unless these things are 30 year old. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we got to get going because we're going to be late. It's going to be hot. After being in that stuffy cab, arriving at the church was a breath of fresh air. I don't even remember really seeing Jake because yeah, I was, was like funny. laughing and crying as I was walking down the aisle. Yeah, and when I didn't Jay even walked in, I don't know. I, I couldn't breathe. I was like scared. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I've never really scared. been scared before, but I think I was kind of scared. <laughs> Great. I, know, I scared I you. That's nice. Take a deep breath. Try to relax. It'll only take a few minutes. I was talking to Donnie, not the bride. <laughs> Donnie, you're, you're so stiff, man. All right. <laughs> this is your part. 
<laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Vic. Jacob, will you have Jennifer to be your wedded wife as long as you both shall live? I will. Jennifer, will you have Jake to be your wedded husband, to live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love as long as you both shall live? I will. If you will say these words after me, I, Jennifer, take you, Jacob. I, Jennifer, take you, Jacob, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. I, Jacob, take you, Jennifer. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And commit myself completely to you. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. This is where he gets to kiss her. <laughs> he can't do that until I, I let him. <laughs> Jacob, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have the privilege of introducing to you Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Braun. Coming up. I think it's yeah. still in deep freeze somewhere in your parents' home. the bottom of the freezer. Mm -hmm. And is it still there now? Well, they finally sold the freezer, so, oh, so maybe someone the else has it. The someone else has our wedding cake. <laughs> when it comes to the wedding day, the bride takes a back seat to no one. Could we have some air in here so the bride doesn't pass out? Sorry. Well, <laughs> first of all, there's no air? air conditioning. There's no air conditioning? No, unless these things are fairly little. OK, let's go. Yeah, we gotta get going because we're gonna be late. Yeah. It's gonna be hot. Soon we'll reveal if overspending left this couple in the hot seat. Yeah, I think it was pretty cool driving around in the London cab, the sipping on champagne. champagne. See, it was yeah. nice. I thought everything looked great at the reception. It was nice to know that everything was done, and it was nice that. just to be surprised and see everything already set up, like by yeah. Angelique and stuff. Everything done. We didn't even have to yeah. do anything. Angelique took care of it all. I don't even know where to go. Where do we go? Go right to the center, and then you're gonna do your cake cutting first. I walk to the cake right now. The I haven't even seen the cake. That's why you get to go to it first. Okay. And then you're going to go to the center of the dance floor and do your first dance. Here to see, let's make a lot of noise for Mr. and Mrs. Jake and Jake Brock. <laughs> The evening was a success. A fabulous feast was served, and Jake set out to entertain their guests. I don't think people <laughs> knew what was going on with the cake. They're yeah, like, people, what was that? Why? People uh, didn't know what was happening, and I think that they were pretty excited. They, they heard the music, they heard the intro, and uh, people were, they were, you know, they were entertained. People came up to me after and they're like, man, that was awesome. And I was like, I know. I'm sure it was only I guys know. who thought it was awesome. No, no, everyone. That was a sacrifice, all right. A sacrifice of good taste. Today was like totally rad. I think that everything went on target. Everything was sweet. I got to cut my pig. That was really huge. What do you think? I think it's been good. Angelique has <laughs> been a lot of help. I'm relieved that my speech is over and everything went smoothly. I'm just exhausted, <laughs> but happy. <laughs> cool. Give me a kiss. Give me some sugar. The wedding may have been sweet, but will you be sour over this? The original budget we gave to Angelique was $10,000. So the transportation, the London cab, is probably the, one of the sweetest rides ever. Turned people's heads, only cost us a mere 250 bucks. The nights were probably the biggest waste of $500. I didn't know Jake didn't cancel them. Both cakes cost us 700 bucks. Had to say, didn't really need the bride's cake, pig cake, 
all the way. Yes, I went over budget on my dress, um, but it was one thing that I was willing to compromise on, um, and I was really happy with it in the end, uh, even though it did cost me $750. The flowers and centerpieces were $817. Uh, I, I still think that the Knights helmets would have been the best way to go, but it was still 817 decently spent. The photographer cost us $1,500. Uh, we wanted to have lots of pictures and lots of memories of the day, so I think it was well worth it. Angelique cost us $1,500. She did amazing wedding planning. The day went extremely smoothly. Everything went well, and, uh, and Jay didn't punch me in the face, so that was the main thing that uh, she did well. $1,500, good times. Uh, the venue ended up costing $20,000 for the food and uh, the bar. Our parents uh, covered that, so thanks, Mom and Dad. Miscellaneous items such as the cake cutting store, DJ, and guest favors came to a total of 4,885 clamshells. What we actually ended up spending on the wedding was $10,902. Only putting us over 902 bucks. Only. It was yeah, all only. your stuff that made us go over. Yeah, and it was all my stuff that made the wedding sweet. The groom has had his shot, the wedding party has strut their stuff, and Jake tried to bring sexy back. The only question left is, what did Jake enjoy more, the pig or the tie sacrifice? That's what I think of the pig tie. And I thought, geez, there's my empress. There's my princess. Really? Oh, of course I did. Back then, um, I was the very budget conscious person. Still are who kept track of all the money down to the nearest penny. Still does. Ah, that's gonna leave a mark.